former Minister David Patterson has said that the budget is large in numbers but short in progress. He said that a lot of money has been voted for infrastructure, but there is little to show. One example is the Demerara Harbour Bridge. So that, that, that form that people see there is where the equipment will drive on. That doesn't has zero to do with the actual construction sure. of the base. It's like if you are uh, building a house, you know, you clear the land there, you put up a, a, a storage shed where you work, where you got yeah. to work on and then this deal. That's what you're seeing. And then they're trying to mislead people to think that that's there. That is the working platform. He said that $5 billion would put it in the work on the Suzdike Linden Highway, but the government only spent $55 million. This year they put me in 10. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to spend it because they don't have the capacity, not the brains, and then of course the corruption mm -hmm. and it's everything high. like that. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you, the East Bank Road, I mean, they've opened up a new road, the Heroes Highway, but as soon as you pass Grove all the way to well, Linden, mm -hmm. that hasn't even started. Mm -hmm. So, but they put these monies in, knowing they can't do it, mm -hmm. knowing um, that nothing will be done. It's just like if you put up a billboard coming soon. So, mm -hmm. budget, if you want in public work, it's a coming soon budget. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, and the coming soon would not be this year nor next year. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, and I do anticipate that now that, of course, the election year is, is built for 2025, we'll be in a mass of chaos. I mean, they'll be trying to do all sort of little projects just mm -hmm. to show that they've done it and, and begging mm -hmm. for more time to complete it. Just over two years, there was the program to upgrade the quarantine highway. Um, you know, every single aspect of thing with this, they were going to do some bridges on uh, the Linden to let them. They said, oh, 58 bridges. Mm -hmm. Two years on. None is None. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, um, that, that, so, so basically, this, the, this ministry was able to spend about 80% of, 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 of what they were given in 2023. Okay. Patterson said that some $40 billion could have gone to alleviating the cost of living. In 2022, they came to the National Assembly with a project. They said they were building new governor's offices. And that project at the time in 2022, they came for $2.6 billion. The project was supposed to be um, $10 billion to finish these offices. When asked in 2022, um, when asked in 2022 budget, the minister said oh, that they're building these new offices right there in Wrights Lane in um, Kingston, Kingston. Mm -hmm. to replace the timber buildings there. That project is now dead. Works Minister Juan Hedger has since said that the focus would be on constructing a third story project at Eccles. The contractor was given some $2 billion in mobilization fees to the original plan, was then given an additional $4 billion for work at the new location. Mm -hmm. This year, mm -hmm. this year, 2024, after giving the, paying the contractor seven billion Ghana dollars, they announced who would done absolutely nothing. nothing. He hasn't um, cut a blade of grass, have a nail. Seven billion dollars, the Caribbean Green Construction Limited or something like that. They announced that they're moving to a new location. This would be the second change in location since the project was conceived. The company has so far received seven billion dollars, but has done absolutely nothing. He said that the $7 billion could have gone toward alleviating the price of teachers, nurses, policemen, and other public servants. So a man, a uh, company has a, 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 uh, a $7 billion tax raise money. Money. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, we found out he's building a hotel. So in other words, the government of Guyana is funding that hotel. That hotel. hotel. Because the man has $7 million advance. He said that this is the tale of the 2023 and 2024 budgets.